it never fails. If I have something on the bed, like clothes, a charger, a book, really anything, Bo is going to put his face on it and fall asleep. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Like these are the clothes I'm packing to go to Dallas. And he's just taking a little napsy on them. Hey guys, so something y'all always ask for is a tutorial of how I curl my hair. Currently, this is what my hair looks like. It's in a bun on top of my head. I just did my makeup. So I thought I would take a couple moments to show you how I turn this flat mess into a very volumized, curly thing that I do. So like right now it's literally just like flat to my head, flat. First thing I do is I start heating my iron. So I use this tapered um, Hot Shot Tools curling wand. I believe it's like an inch and a half to an inch, like tapered, I'm not really sure. But I have it heating on not the highest setting. I do like 400, but I try not to use the heat all the way up on my wand. It's heating up right now. What I do next is I just run a brush through this matted hair and I'm going to spray on this Joico thermal protectant spray that I have right here. Kind of help to protect my hair from the heat. So I just spray it all through my hair on top and around. Just kind of spray it, you know. And I run a brush through it. So the next step I normally do is I take a salt spray, which is right here. Just a salt spray and I usually spray it in the ends of my hair, like halfway down my hair. But that's usually if I like just showered the night before or just conditioned my hair and it's really smooth and might not hold the curl. I just spray it in my hair just a couple spritzes and let it dry and then take my brush and brush it all through my hair. And that just kind of creates like a dirty feel to your hair and that kind of helps your curl hold very well or so I have seen on my hair. Now that I have my hair basically prepped to hold the curl, all I do is I take my hair in half, split it in the back to two sides, and throw it over my shoulders. Everyone has a different preference of how they curl their hair, but I just have these two sections and I pull a piece from the very back. Ooh, there's a tangle. Let's get that out. So I pull a piece from the very back and grab my wand and just wrap it about halfway down the hair. Wrap it around the wand for 10 to 12 seconds. So once I've held the hair on the wand, I let it go into my hand. And although it is extremely hot, I squeeze it into my hand for a second. And then let the curl fall and it's nice and curly and I throw it behind my head. So now I literally just do that throughout my whole head. I just grab a section of hair, wrap it around the wand about midway down, and hold it for 10 to 12 seconds. I'm going to finish up my hair and then I will show you how I kind of get the volume out of the curls. My hair is curled and it's still kind of in the ringlets it curled in so what I do is I just open my hand like this and kind of pull them through the curls to separate them and then I turn my head over to one side like this grab some hairspray and I just spray my hair real good and start scrunching it up so these curls Oh, sorry, Bo's in here. He's going to die of my hairspray. He's sneezing. But yeah, I just spray these curls very generously with hairspray so they stay because I live in 100% humidity. And so, yeah. 
higher the hair, the closer to Jesus. Okay, so curls are looking pretty good right now. And the last step is I usually grab a teasing comb and kind of grab a little bit of this and just give myself a little volume by back combing right at the roots of my hair. And then brushing down the rat's nest. And I'll just do that around my head in a couple of places. I kind of fluff it up with my hands and that is how I do my hair. And it gets these nice pretty curls. Sweet baby. Hey. What you doing, Bobo? What you doing? Just sleeping like you always do. <laughs> I am dressed for the day. Got on some jeans, a black v neck, and my hair is all curly. Got my makeup done. Just let me make sure you can see my address on the suitcase. But got my bag packed for Dallas. I have like a massive bag for literally two nights. And look at our Christmas tree. It's all pretty and decorated. Woohoo. And we've got little trouble chillaxing over here on the couch. Hey, bud. Look, I was able to clean up all the hair around his eyes and he didn't bite me today. Wow. How cool is it that you can see, bud? Wow. Maisie, want to say hello to everyone? Hi, Maisie. Hello, little crazy dog. Hello, little crazy dog. This is super zoomed in, but check out this squirrel trying to eat out of the feeder. He, like, fell off the chicken coop a second ago, and it was really funny. He's trying desperately to eat that bird seed. Look at them legs. Yeah. Hey, Bo, is the... Ah, 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 no, wait till I ask. Hey, is there a squirrel? Go get him. Get him. Yeah. We are about to leave and head to Dallas. I have my Orca Coolers cup full of some ice water. I've got my Mansports metal shaker right here. I'm going to put a scoop of great bubblegum iso amino in it. This is one of my favorite flavors. Just like having something different than water to drink while on the road as well and I just need to shake or screw this on and shake it up and we'll be good to go. I have been loving these little mini baby belt white cheddar cheeses as a snack. You just like peel off the packaging and then you just like open up a little wax casing. It's so cute and you've got your own little cheese wedge or cheese round. I don't know. Yum. We had a couple delays getting out of town today. My dad's car took longer to get fixed than we thought. So we got on the road at like 4.30. We're not going to get there till past 9.30 tonight in Dallas. So we've got a long drive ahead of us still. And it's getting dark outside and there's traffic all kinds of traffic and Houston rush hour. So, I will keep y'all updated with our trip down the road. We're headed to Dallas to apartment shop. The next two days, we are going to be looking for my new home in the Dallas area. Crazy, and my hair is crazy too. Oh my golly.
Ellie's dad's pouring his coffee into his coffee cup over there, keeping it warm, you know. We got about two hours left until we get to Dallas. We're not gonna get there till almost 10. It's gonna be a late evening on the road, and it's raining and lightning. And Dad bought some heavy cream right there on the top of the car that he's putting in his coffee. A little carton of heavy cream at the Bucky's right here in Madisonville, Texas. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Look at that no spillage. That is fancy. Oh, I'm not get any, any trickier than that. <laughs> It is almost 10 o'clock, but we have finally made it into our hotel room for the night. We are getting up bright and early to eat some breakfast and get started on the apartment search. We have it narrowed down to a couple that we want to go see tomorrow. So, fingers crossed that by the end of the day, we will have a lease signed. <laughs> All right, I am getting ready to go shower look at some last minute apartment things, and then go to bed. I hope that y'all enjoyed Vlogmas Day 19. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all tomorrow with another vlog. Bye guys. Mwah. Look at that happy dog. Happy, happy, happy dog. Happy dog, happy dog, happy dog.